Hello, welcome to the Academy Bistro, the second Korean night event. My name is Jihan Lee. I'm an instructor for Korean cuisine, and uh, along with the Chef Hall, who is teaching Korean cuisine laboratory. You're invited to taste and experience what students have learned so far this term. This is the second Korean cuisine class offered at Drexel University. Uh, Drexel University is the only university in the United States teaching Korean cuisine for the culinary arts student. This came along because Korean government has been promoting the Korean food as uh, their goal of globalization of the Korean food. And Korea Agro Fishery Trade Corporation has been sponsoring Korean cuisine class at Drexel University. Now we'll change the scene and we'll move to the kitchen. This week, one week before um, today, students have been practicing what they're going to cook for you today. And so they will explain it to you what they're cooking and what's going into it. So now you'll see the students who are preparing the food that you are about to taste. Hi, I'm Adrienne Hall, and I'm the instructor for the Korean cuisine class here at Drexel University. And um, for our dinner tonight, I think the best thing to do is to start off with a cocktail. Um, I made here a ginger syrup, simply fresh ginger and sugar, water, and then we simmer it down until it becomes nice and concentrated. So we're going to let this cool, and we're going to candy the ginger in the syrup, and um, just before um, the cocktails are going to be served, we're going to get a little coin of ginger and coat it in sugar. So that could be a little garnish for your drink. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the ginger syrup, a little bit of soju. Um, Korea's offering to the bar scene in the world. And we're gonna juice fresh Asian pears. So the combination of soju, fresh Asian pears, and, um, <clears throat> and ginger syrup is going to be the components of your cocktail this evening. I'm Edward Green, and I'm making banchan, which is side dishes served with the main course, which is bok rice and usually a secondary side dish, which can be gogi or anything else, basically. Um, side dishes are usually served in odd numbers, so three, five, seven. Twelve is considered a royal delicacy, though. It's usually served at um, royal meals. So what I'm preparing today is dobu jodim, which is seared tofu with a syrup sauce, like soy sauce, green onion, garlic. We have a Mung bean namu, which is served simply with uh, sesame oil and sesame salt, a little bit, and also a little bit of uh, fine sea salt. And then finally, we have the gamja jodim, which is potato side dish. It has diced potatoes, which are combined with soy sauce, a um, little bit of corn syrup, and sugar, and it's usually sauteed and thickened. I'm Samuel Wojtovich. I'm a culinary science major at Texas University. And I'm working on Michu kimchi and oisobagi, two types of kimchi. And kimchi is a staple of Korean cuisine. It's usually any type of fermented vegetable. And there are many different types, kind of like cheese or bread. Hi, my name is John Boswell. I'm a culinary arts student here at Drexel University. Uh, today for our Korean class and our Korean event, we are making kimchi mandu, which is a kimchi dumpling. So we'll have a fermented cabbage with pork stuffed into a dumpling, and we're going to steam that. 
Hello, my name is uh, Tim Longstreth. I'm a student at Drexel University. Uh, I'm, at, uh, I'm a culinary major, and uh, today I'm going to be presenting uh, Sandubo Jige, which is a spicy uh, soft tofu soup. And uh, what it is is uh, it has clams, um, cubes of tofu, and it's a uh, it goes into uh, some water and it gets boiled with some uh, green peppers, red peppers, some green onion, um, and then it also has uh, red uh, red pepper flakes and some soy sauce. Um, it's very delicious. I hope you will enjoy it. My name is David Nguyen and I'm a culinary arts major and today I'm preparing doso bibimbap and which literally means uh, stone pot cooked rice with a bunch of mixed vegetables and right here I prepared some, some of the things going to be in here which is uh, salted so it dries out the moisture. There's bell pepper root, carrots, and zucchini and also shiitake mushroom and then also I have Two sauces that we use for it, and this is the red pepper paste sauce that's going to be used for it, but it's not mixed up yet. But it's a mise en place right here, and this is also the soy seasoning sauce that's going to go on the shiitake mushrooms to make it black because it's very important to get the five colors in the bean pop, the hop on sec. And um, bean pop is very traditional; it's the breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and it's very popular, and it just goes good with our, all the other dishes. Next, we're making Kai Bi Jim, which is a braised beef rib. Um, we have the ribs marinating here. Um, they're actually soaking in water um, to clean them a little bit. I also made a marinade here, um, and we're just going to braise them. And we have some chestnuts, some Korean radish, carrots, and mushrooms. And we're gonna braise it all together to bring out some good flavor. Next, we have uh, marinade. Uh, duck bulgogi, which is a uh, marinated uh, chicken, and it's marinated in uh, soy sauce, pear juice, uh, guchucheng, which is a uh, red pepper paste, and then we also have uh, ginger, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, honey, and that's about it. Uh, and it gets uh, usually it gets, it gets usually cooked at table side, um, and um, I hope you will enjoy it also. Hello, my name is Jericho Ringan. I am a freshman here at Drexel University. I'm studying culinary arts and I will be making hotdog, which is a street, pan street served pancake. And it's usually served during the winter. And inside the pancakes, there's already syrup, so there's no mess. <laughs> and uh, with the hotdog, it will be served with Korean fruit flavored ice cream. Samida. <laughs> Hi, my name is Evan Fowler and I'm a culinary science student of Drexel University and I'm here to talk about Omi Jancha, which is a fruit that can also be used as a tea in Korean cuisine. It is, uh, has all the five flavors associated with Korean cuisine in it. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and spicy. Each flavor is associated with a color in Korean cuisine. The colors of the Korean cuisine are red, yellow, white, black, and green slash blue. Uh, look for them in your dinner tonight. And uh, we thank you for coming in and trying all of our delicious Korean food that we're presenting to you. Have a good one.